This is Travis Walker from Green Power Easy. Uh, I'm the site manager from Green Power Easy and for the first couple months I'm a Green Power Easy TV host. Uh, you probably already got a preview of the first videos. Uh, the first videos we created were on how to build solar panels and if you haven't got those videos yet you can sign up at greenpowereasy.com. I'm actually just on my way out the door to get uh, started on a second series of videos. The second series is going to cover uh, how to build a wind turbine and we're going to take this uh, 130 volt DC motor and turn it into a power producing wind turbine. Uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to uh, take a time, take some time out to record this video before I go and do that, I wanted to talk about why it is that I'm recording these uh, videos and hosting the first months of Green Power Easy TV. Uh, Peter and Jen didn't want to show the world how easy it was for professionals to build solar panels and how easy it was for professionals to uh, build wind turbines and convert their homes to alternative energy. They wanted to show you that anybody can do it. Now I'm a freelance writer and a web designer who got involved with Peter and Jen uh, when they asked me to help with their site um, and I just wanted to let everybody know that going green is easy. Uh, if I can build solar panels and wind turbines and create instructional video series using the Green Power Easy series of guides then anybody can do it and if you keep watching this video we're going to give you another uh, quick preview of the first month of Green Power Easy TV. Okay, so here I am working at my kitchen table. It's time to start putting everything together to build our solar panel. Our first step is to build the solar cells into a series themselves, and I've got one finished here. Uh, because I'm creating a 100 watt panel with 50 solar cells, I've got 50 single solar cells, I'm going to create five series of 10 cells. Uh, if you were using a different number of cells, you would obviously adjust the number in your series accordingly. For example, if you're using 40 cells to build an 80 watt panel, you could create four series of 10 or 10 series of four, uh, however you wanted to do it really, it's pretty flexible with this step. So to get started here, there's a few things that you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need your soldering iron, you're going to need your solar cells, uh, you're going to need your rosin flux pen, your solder, a tape measure, your tabbing wire, and I've got a pair of old scissors here that I'm going to use to cut the tabbing wire itself. 